Hey there, Ashley at allthingsdentistry.com. We're just talking about um, ivory loops and uh, how to fixate a uh, fracture mandible. This is sort of uh, anything a general dentist can do and it's fairly straightforward, just with uh, local anesthesia. So, just on the model here, uh, I'm gonna show you how we do this. This is the hand, to, uh, actually I'll use uh, hangers because it's easier for you to see. So we're going to slide the ivory loop through the contact, uh, below the contact. It may come through the gingiva, I mean obviously there's no gingiva on this. Uh, it may not. I mean, it just depends on how deep it goes into the gingiva, whether, you want, whether or not you want to keep it there or reset. Now, it's easier to have somebody push the uh, ivory loop through on this side and then your assistant or your other resident friend to pull it out. And if the wire's bent, if the wire's bent like that, it's not going to go through. I mean, it's just like, it's easy to go through here because there's a lot of space, but in reality, there isn't so you're gonna have to straighten the wire and then you get one of the your other assistant or resident to push it back through underneath the contact it's gonna come like this and you pull through boom and again that's easy on the model not easy intraorally the wire can't be bent it has to be fairly straight uh, or it's just not gonna go and this one here the uh, as you become come more forward it's easy it's best to maneuver it, get it ready, and then pull it forward and get the other person to get it with their uh, Hagar's and pull through. Okay, there we go. There's the start. And of course, see how the, the loop gets pulled through. So you may have to uh, get a set of, uh, get something, to, Clip onto that and hold onto it. And another set of Hagar forceps, just like that, and then come through. So there's a few ways you can do this. Now we want to essentially we want to tie a loop with the with the uh, loose ends here. You can either go through the loop right here if you're having problems, go through, or it's best if you don't go through because then you'll leave that loop to provide fix to allow for fixation between the maxilla and the mandible. I mean, look at this. This is a difficulty. So one of the things you can do is keep that out a little bit. And then bring this forward through that little loop. <clears throat> and bring it through and then have somebody else pull it. The dog's not going to pull it right now, so kind of SOL. Okay, pull it forward. So this is what we have. So we have it looped uh, around the palatal side or lingual on the bottom on the mandible. And then uh, on the buccal side, it's going through there. And what's going to happen is we're going to use this loop to take another a 25 gauge wire and fixate the mandible and the maxilla together. So what we're going to do here is we're going to tug this snug like that, pull this one snug, cross it, and you can use these snazzy pliers. I remember seeing these uh, on a general, I'm an aviation uh, private pilot, so you can use these that'll turn as you pull, but you have to be careful because it'll spin it right and then spin it really fast and break the wire. Uh, I'll show you how to use those. So you want to capture the wire a little bit back so you have a bit of a tail. So we'll see, I'm just going to pull it and reload, pull. Now the key thing, so I'm not going to use that. The difficulty is you need to pull, stretch the wire as you're spinning it. So it's best just to use regular Hagers. There we go. So you see my hand like this, I'm gonna come up here and I grab the ends. I'm gonna um, opposite force against the maxilla and see how I'm pulling a bit and slowly spinning. So you can pull and that way you're tightening it and not just simply spinning as you'll see in, in the video. I was having a problem because 
So I'm pulling and tightening. There we go. Okay, so you see how that's got a nice, uh, nice and tight. And you can go check it. I don't have a Woodson here. Go ahead and check, see if it gets some movement, and that's nice and tight. So we're just going to snip it. Oh yeah, yeah. And then you can take your pickle fork, pickle fork, or I don't have one at home, which is pickle fork is essentially a Woodson with a little groove in it. And you take your, you'll see me use it in the live video. Just take this and make it into a little rosette. You can tuck it away, either under the wire or into the interproximal area. There you go. So what you may want to do is turn this little loop, so it's like that, so you can get your wire. So essentially that's it. So the next video I'm going to show you is how we're going to use this to fixate the mandible. And you would do... Um, on this case, we would do one here, one here. I mean, there's, I mean, the world is your oyster. Be creative. One here, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here. So two, two, five, five or six on the maxilla and the mandible. Uh, it's really up to you. Different techniques. Depends on the fracture too. So that's just uh, the tabletop version of how to do an ivy loop. Cheers.